Thank you, Eric. Dear brothers and sisters from, uh, from the US, uh, dear fellow Rwandans at uh, this event, it's uh, my great pleasure to welcome you to, to Rwanda after two weeks for some of you and be with you uh, on this day as uh, we aim to build on the guiding principles of uh, the National Prayer Breakfast. This kind of uh, gathering which fo fosters fellowship and sharing is very relevant in the current world we live in, a world that sees senseless violence on a regular basis, affecting the lives of too many people across many parts of the globe. We are witnessing our leaders having to rethink the new world order, challenging the ability to spread again values of respect and brotherhood across the many communities of this world. These threats to our, to our humanity force us to reevaluate how we relate and treat one another as we aim to find a sustainable solution to put an end to all these threats. While countering these threats require us to anchor, teach, and emulate positive values around us, I believe we might also nurture these strong relationships across the board, relationships that will stand the test of time and the challenges our nations will face along the way. It is my belief that in these fellowships, we are cultivating a fundamentally positive practice of bringing together diverse leaders to reflect on the right path for their nations. Through the National Prayer Breakfast Forum, we affirm our choices, our choices of uh, being united, accountable, hence being a source of inspiration, encouragement, accountability, and shared vision, allowing people to identify their needs, carry burdens for one another, and become one, again, as stated, in Amos 3 verses 3, do to work together unless they have agreed to do so. So this uh, special gathering this morning reminds us that uh, when working with like-minded individuals, we are capable of accomplishing great things. While working in harmony in this journey of repairing this humanity. I believe these great things do indeed become reality when we allow ourselves to trust our faith to guide us. And when we seek the kind of friendships that provide mutual guidance, encouragement during difficult times, and most importantly, support in times of crisis. We therefore remain focused as we work to establish more relationships that push us to be the best we can be while staying humble in serving a higher purpose. I thank you for being with us and wish you a blessed stay in our land of a thousand hills. Please keep coming.